Hey, welcome to Davita Stampin' Spot. I hope I'm live this time. I've been playing around with this, and I'm hoping it's working. Hey, so, welcome to Davita oh, Stampin' now it's Spot. Ian. There we go. Hopefully you can still hear me and see me. If you can, please let me know. I'm going to check this. Since I've been having so much trouble with this. Well, hopefully it's working. If not, I guess it'll be a recording and I will post it later. So, um, I have a fun project for you. I shared it with um, in the Meandering Meadows class on Friday and on Wednesday. And the ladies, this was their favorite card. So I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys tonight. And um, I've got some new colors. I'm going to show you the front of the catalog. I'm going to flip the camera around here so we can get started. All right, so first, here's what the new catalog looks like. A lot of you follow other people, so you've probably already seen it. A very, very different look for us. Very different. The inside's very different as well, which I will be sharing more of that with you um, as we get closer to the launch in May. Let me show you the new colors. This is Petunia Pop, kind of a pinky purple. Summer Splash. Oh, this still has paper on it. Peach Pie. Kind of reminds me of the apricot peel that we had before. Shy Shamrock. And the returning is pretty in pink. We had that one several years ago and it's back. So I'm excited about those new colors. Um, I showed them to you because I got them about 15 minutes um, before I went live, can't went and got the mail. All right, so the card we're going to make tonight. Here's the card base. It's four and a fourth by 11. And I'm going to score it at a fourth, one and a half, three and a fourth, four and a half, and five and a half. And I will do that in a minute. Let me show you all the paper sizes. This is seven eighths by four and an eighth. And you need two one and an eighth by four and an eighth and you need two one and five eighths by four and an eighth just one and then three and three eighths by four and an eighth and that's actually going to be on the inside what i did for the ladies is i made this window sheet um, so that they could put it on their paper and decide which paper what part of the six by six piece they wanted to use. And this piece is five inches wide and four inches tall. All right, so we'll cut that here in just a few minutes as well. I'm going to grab my scorer. Scoring. Simply scoring. We're going to start with a fourth. There we go. So a fourth, one and a half. Three and a fourth, oops. Three and a fourth, four and a half, and five and a half. Now, when you do a score line and it doesn't work quite the way you want it, did you know you can turn it over and just use your scoring tool to kind of push it back down and it helps make it look like it was never scored. All right, so that's the scoring that we need. Now I'm going to grab my paper cutter. I'm going to cut at the top so you guys can see what I'm cutting. So I decided I want the top part of this. It was interesting. This was probably the hardest part of the card was deciding which part to cut off. Um, the ladies all commented on how beautiful this paper was and how hard it was to cut off the pieces that, um, I think I'm gonna go like this. So I'm doing, oh, I told you I was gonna do it at the top. 
uh, four and a half. It needs to be four, but I want to make sure I get quite a bit of the flowers. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to take off a half inch at the top. So my piece is four by five and a half. Make sure I got it right. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to three fourths of an inch. And I'm using the left hand side. I like that because then you've got your guide here for most of your paper. So I'm going to cut off three fourths. Get my extra paper out of the way here. Then I'm going to cut off an inch. Now I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do three fourths. And you guessed it, one inch. All right, and that is the main piece of the card. All right, so I'm going to lay these back out so that they all line up nice. So if I have it the right way, here we go. I think that goes there. There we go. So there's my pieces. I'm going to grab my white cardstock now. We had so much fun with this class. Um, I had some ladies that traveled, what they tell me, an hour and 20 minutes, but um, they really seemed to enjoy the card designs. We had a great time together. I mean, bad thing is then they had to drive home afterwards, so it got kind of late for them. We had a really good time. This Meandering Meadows paper is retiring. So if you like this paper, you're going to want to get it before it's gone. Remember all of our pieces, all of our supplies that are being retired in the catalog are while supplies last. So if there's something you really want, don't wait. I hate it when people reach out to me and say, oh, I really, really, really want to get this. And I have to tell you, I'm sorry, it's already gone. All right. I am using some retired, retiring, sorry, retiring um, products. So I'm going to show those to you. It's always so sad when stuff goes away. I want to remind you that tomorrow is Kit Crop and Cup at the 10 and 2 coffee bar in Bonner. It's down by the Valley Feed and Seed, if you know where that is in town. If you're not sure where it is and you want to attend, text me, email me, send me a Facebook message. I'll make sure you know how to find us. I will be there from 3.30 until 5, or until 7.45. We've got a fun group coming, so make sure you um, join us if you can. Bring a project to work on, or I have a whole box full of kits that you can use. All right, so we're going to fold the card in half for our first step on the base. <laughs> it looks like I, oh, here we go. It's great I put all my bone folders in my kits already, getting my boxes ready to take to get crop and cup tomorrow night. A little tiny piece of pink paper there. Okay, now the one clear on the end is going to be the valley fold. So we're going to fold that back. For those of you that came to class, the good news is not only are you going to have your written instructions, but now you're going to have a video too that you can watch. So the trickiest part to me is this little piece right here. When you glue this one down, you want to leave about a half to a third of it without adhesive on it because this little piece here that I scored is going to fit underneath it. I'm going to take my adhesive, leave a nice edge, 
and it actually goes on the inside of the card. All right, so that's your trickiest part. And see, I left this so that this piece can slide right underneath there like that. All right, all the other folds are mountains. So there's two other folds there. Oh, I lied. The two outside ones are valleys and the two on the inside are mountain. Forgot I didn't glue this down. So from five and a half to four and a half, you're going to put glue in here and glue it down. All right, now you're going to take your pieces and glue them across. Um, some of the designs I saw on this, instead of doing where this is like a window that you're looking at, some of them did it like it was wallpaper or used a contrasting piece of paper. I liked having it where you had a bay window that actually had five panes. So I chose to do it this way, but you can always alter this and do it the way you want. Let's check and see if there are any comments. See if anybody was able to catch me live. I've had so much trouble. I have the feeling a lot of you've given up and said, oh, I'll just watch the recording later which I find I have to do that an awful lot with the things I want to watch as well. All right. This is going to go right here. So when you fold this piece back, you now have your bay window. Isn't that cool? Just love this idea. I love it because if you're sending it, send this card to somebody that really appreciates card designs. They can stand it up and look at it and enjoy it. All right. So I thought it would be fun to do just sending a note. Just a note. So I pulled, here's the greetings. Um, this is very best occasion. It is retiring. And... I could do, you make my life happier, or you're the best. Um, this one is not retiring. Um, I was going to use that one, but I decided I like this really a lot. Oh, that sounded bad English. Sorry. I like this one a lot. You matter to so many. So I'm going to use that. These are the timeless arrangements dies. These are going away. This is the frame that I'm using for my little tag in the front. The go-to greetings, I'm using just a note, which is this one here. These are going away. This set is phenomenal. Um, it's got happy birthday, thinking of you, thank you, and just a note in three different sizes. So those sayings that you use all the time, this set's going away. So if you don't have it, consider getting it. Grassy Grove is staying around. I'm going to use these three trees here. All right. Well, you knew I'd use purple. So I'm going to put just a note here on this to draw out the purple flowers on this. See how it pulls out the flowers? When you ad adhere this, you want to make sure you only do it in the middle. So I had the ladies use uh, dimensionals in the middle because you don't want to glue down the sides. If you do, then your um, bay window is not going to work. I'm using one and a half there. Sorry, I'm trying to stay on the screen tonight. And I, there we go. I didn't have my frame in the right spot. I like the flower, so I'm going to put this one up at the top. All right, so there's one piece left. This is the three and three eighths by four and an eighth. I thought this was fun because at the class, I got to remind some and show some others how to use our markers to ink up 
our stamps. So I'm taking shaded spruce, the darker green in this paper. Um, I pulled out all the different card stocks in this meandering meadow. I think it was 15 different colors of card stock. So it goes with so many different colors, which I think makes it really versatile. All right, so I'm taking, and I always use the side of my marker because I don't want to ruin the sharp tip. The tree bark is brown with pecan pie, and my branches are shaded spruce. Now, if you look, uh, try to get it. It looks like it's kind of drying just a little bit. So what you want to do is huff on it before you stamp. <sighs> Your breath will get it wet again so you can stamp. And there's my trees. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't want my trees floating. The ladies laughed at me the other night that I had was worried about floating trees. Trying to find my green blending brush. I was actually efficient and put things away. Yeah, I know that doesn't really ever happen. And if you looked at my stamp room, you would not think I ever do that. I'm going to use some garden green for my grass. I'm going to go off the side. And add just a little bit so the trees have some grass. That. And then I think I'll use this garden green. So for the you matter to so many, I'll put that here in the middle. There we go. This would make a, if you don't have um, crosses or bunnies or something for Easter, this would also make a beautiful Easter card. It's hard to believe Easter is this coming weekend. I don't know about you, but I'm not ready yet. All right. So this is going to fit. If you are making this card, make sure you think about the size of this piece because it is actually tall, a little taller than it is wide. And I had some that made, did it the wrong direction at class. So kind of fit it in there before you stamp, make sure you get it the right direction. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? So slide it in like that. I just told Kent my fibro is just not allowing me to do things recently. And hands and stuff are saying, I don't want to do that. There we go. Okay. So there, if you look at it from the top, is your top. Here's your just a note. Let me show you the card that the ladies made. They made theirs because I cut the paper for them in lemon lime twist and made their card like this. So they did this one. Same thing on the inside, the trees, but I used the lighter. And then this is the one I did at Hearts of Oz. This is where I got the idea. Um, the one thing you can see the contrast here. They chose to do it um, when they cut the pieces for us, the opposite here. So just the three uh, sections like that. So that's my fun fold for you tonight. I hope you like it. Those of you that came to class, remember that this video is here. So now you have written instructions as well as a video to watch. Send me a message if you would like to have the written instructions and I will send them to you. I just think this is a really fun card. All right, what am I forgetting? I made myself a list tonight because there were so many things I needed to remember to tell you. All right, so I told you, I showed you the new colors, showed you the new catalog. Um, this is the fun fold for the technique class in April. This paper is going away. Sad, sad, sad. This set is carrying over. That's the adorning hearts. 
And that's why I chose to use it for my swap um, at on stage because I knew they could carry it over. So this will be the fun fold. The class is going to be April 10th and April 12th. We'll be here at the house. I'm not able to do the Thursday class. Um, Kent's having some eye surgery uh, April 1st, and I have to take him back to the doctor on the 10th. So I won't be able, or the 11th, sorry, on that Thursday. So um, I won't be able to do the Thursday class. If you normally come on Thursday, um, let me know and we can reschedule and get that a uh, time set up. All right. So there's my fun fold for tonight, my bay window. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week and I'll see you next Monday.